Assalamualaikum dear students how are you i hope you will all be fine uh, these days we are having the lectures with the kinds of verbs and we have had all the kinds of verbs in the previous lectures some more verbs we have to discuss today these kinds of verbs they are called uh, verbs first of all let me tell you what do we mean by verbs verbs are those verbs which are not actually action verb rather they act like a noun or an adjective in a sentence this is the reason that we call them verbs so we have three kinds of verbs in english grammar infinitive gerund and participles so first of all we have to see what are infinitives infinitives are formed by adding to plus first form of the verb this is called infinitive suppose in the example you can see i want to dance it means to dance is an infinitive because whenever we are going to have to plus first form of the verb it will be called an infinitive if we want to make a negative infinitive so it means that first of all not will be there and right after not we are going to have to plus first form of the verb so in this way we can make a negative infinitive so whenever you have a phrase over there in a sentence which is beginning with to plus first form of the verb so it means that phrase is going to be an infinitive phrase then we come to the next kind and which is a gerund gerund is an ing ing form of the verb but it does not act as a verb in the sentence rather it acts as a noun in a sentence always remember this thing that gerund is an ing ing form of the verb but the function of a gerund in the sentence is that it acts as a noun in a sentence then we come to the next verbal which is a participle first of all we talk about the present participle a present participle is ing in form of the verb and when we talk about the past participle past participle means the third form of the verb so a participle is a verb that functions as an adjective in a sentence like i told you that verbs never ever act like verbs rather they act either like a noun or an adjective so what are usual forms of participle participles this is what we are going to see first of all we have present participles present participles means that they are ing in form of the verb such as loving caring sharing etc and what do we mean by past participle past participle means the third form of the verb so this is the difference between the present participle and past participle now the question is that when uh, when we say that gerunds are also ing in form of the verb and present participle is also ing in form of the verb so how would we differentiate between a gerund and a participle this is what we are going to learn in the uh, next <clears throat> examples these are the examples of past participles disturbed by the noise he woke up in this sentence disturbed is underlined and it is acting as a past participle over here a burnt child breaks the fire burnt is another third form of the verb it is a past participle but it is acting as an adjective over here this is the reason that it will be called past participle adjective so in the first example this term was used as a verb and in the next example it is modifying the noun which is child over there in the sentence so it will be a past participle adjective what is the difference between a present participle and a gerund yes this question i simply <clears throat> want to discuss over here that present participle and gerund are both ing in form of the verb so how would we differentiate between the two you can see in the examples my friends are traveling in india in this case traveling is a 
present participle a traveling salesperson came to the door in this way this present participle is acting as a as an adjective so it will be called present participle adjective because it is modifying the noun which is salesperson over here and in the last example traveling tired me a lot it means that in this case traveling has been used as the name of the activity it has been used as the noun over here what tired me out so whenever ing ink form of the verb would answer what it would be a gerund so in the first example my friends are traveling in india the activity of the traveling is going on but in the last example traveling is the name of the activity what tired me out traveling tired me out it means that the name of the activity is called a gerund and the continuous activity <clears throat> that is going on in the sentence would be a participle like we have seen in the first example okay students here we have a few uh, practice sentences which we are going to have to differentiate the infinitive participles and gerunds to find a fault is easy in this case it is an infinitive he is shooting a gun it is a present participle i heard what the shooting it means the here the shooting has been used as the noun so it will be a gerund he was hunting deer here it is present participle hunting deer is not allowed what is not allowed so hunting has been used over here as a gerund children are making mud castles here making is a present participle children love making what making mud castles so making has been used over here as a noun so it will be a gerund she is waiting waiting is a present participle because the continue uh, the activity of waiting is going on so it is a present participle i am tired of what waiting so waiting is a gerund over here whenever ing ink form of the verb will answer what so it will be a gerund because it is coming in the place of the noun she is a spoiled child spoiled is a past participle but it is modifying the noun child so it is a past participle adjective over here she is a caring mother caring is a present participle where but here it is modifying the noun which is mother so it is present participle adjective over here she is reading poetry she is reading poetry reading is a present participle over here she likes what reading poetry so reading has been used over here as a noun it is answering what so it is a gerund smoking is injurious to health <clears throat> what is injurious to health smoking so smoking has been used as a noun over here the name of the activity over here so it is a gerund fishing is my favorite sport fishing is again a gerund because it is coming in the place of the noun the name of the activity her greatest pleasure is to sing to sing is an infinitive because it has been used by making two plus first form of the verb so i hope that your idea of the infinitive participles and gerund would be quite much clear by now still if you have any problem you can okay students allah hafiz till the next lecture